Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave and today I got a special package from Paul Rubens with some really cool watercolors that I'm going to try out. So let's jump in and get started. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I come out with a new video. All right, let's jump in. Okay, friends, so today I'm going to share a really fun package that I got from the team at Paul Rubens for the new year. It was so exciting and unexpected. Um, so they sent me a package. It came in this really cute uh, bag that says, hope all good things surround you. And then this big box came inside the bag and I have opened it, but I haven't opened the products or anything. So I just really wanted to show you. So inside, and I had to I had to message them and ask them what some things were because uh, I didn't know. So the first thing I saw was this. And unfortunately for me, it's all in Chinese. So there's no English. Um, so I, I had no idea what it was or what type of paint it was. But it comes in this beautiful packaging. Again, everything is in Chinese. So I had no idea. And there are these little tubes of paint. So I did message them and ask them. And these are watercolors. Um, I'm dying to try them out. Something, I have no idea what this is. Something in the middle came, literally no idea what it is. Um, I might have to <laughs> message them again and ask, but I'm really dying to swatch these. Um, they said they're, they're layered watercolors. It, I, I don't know. I've never seen them before. I'd never heard of them. So we're going to be swatching these today, but I'll quickly show you what else I got in the package. So I also got one of their little sketchbooks, which I love. I have so many of these. They are hot pressed, 100% cotton, but they don't perform necessarily like a hot press paper, which I love. They're very smooth, but they take water and paint really well. So you can get some really beautiful color bleeds. I really like these and I've been buying these off Amazon for a long time. And then I got like a bunch of brushes, which I haven't tried these out before. These are Phoenix brushes. I don't know if you know how good they are. Um, they look like they are really soft hair. Again, I'm gonna have to look them up, but I haven't really used many brushes like this before, so I, I don't know if they're great or not. Again, um, oh, it's from Phoenix Arts, so I don't even know if this is a Paul Rubin brush. I don't think so. I do have one of their brushes, so no, th this is a Paul Rubin's brush, and this is Phoenix. I, I think it's one of their sister brands maybe, um, but I got four brushes in a size four, which looks questionable as a size four, two, zero, and six. Yeah, they're quite big, but I'm excited to try those out. Then I got this little mountain thing. They said this little mountain is a pen holder or a brush holder. Um, it's based on a famous Chinese landscape painting, Thousand Miles of Mountains and Rivers. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can just put it to the side, rest your brush, rust, rest your brush. Oh my gosh, it is late at night and I'm tired, but I, I really wanted to open this. <laughs> so they have that. And then there were all of these paints at the bottom and they say, what is it? Al alkalid resin oil paint. And I thought this was a mistake because I, I don't paint with oils, but they are in fact oils and they thought that I'd like to try them. Um, so I don't know anything about painting with oil paint, to be honest. I know nothing. Um, and I believe that this type of oil paint is fast drying oil paint. So I'm going to have to learn how to properly use these because I honestly don't know a lot about it. And I think I've always... I've always shied away from oil paint because I am I know that it can be pretty toxic and I work in like a small, oh, I got opera pink, opera rose, cool. Um, I work in my closet, to be honest, with not a lot of ventilation. So it's, n and I have little kids. So I've always been really nervous to try, did I get a bunch of the same colors? Maybe. Um, try oils, but I have like three oranges. I think they just shoved a bunch of paint in here, but you know what, whatever. Paint is paint. So yeah, if anybody knows how to use these at all, I would be very interested to hear 
how to use them <laughs> and safely. There is no blue. There is no blue. Oh, no, there is one blue. Okay, at least we have a variety of colors where I could mix if I needed to. Although there's no white, so that would be interesting. Um, but yeah, so this is what I got from them. Um, I'm super excited. I'm going to try out the watercolors and just uh, swatch them for you guys now because I am just dying to try them. Um, and I think maybe oil painting might be something to try in a future video. So if you know how to use this type of oil paint, please let me know because I have no clue. All right, let's swatch the watercolors. Okay, so I'm going to be using this sketchbook to swatch. Um, and I have some paper towel here and I have some water and I have the watercolors. So I am going into this blindly. I have no idea what colors are in here. Um, you can kind of see like a glimmer of color, like this one looks like a purple. Um, and also there is pigment information on the back. At least I know the pigment codes I can tell um, what the color is going to be. And it does have a light fast rating, which I'm guessing that is. But again, it's in Chinese, so I don't really know what a lot of these words say. Um, but this one, I will tell you the pigment info because I know a lot of people do enjoy that. And it will help me identify, I hate to admit it, um, <laughs> what paint I'm about to paint with. So looking at this, it's gonna be a purple. Okay, yeah, so this is a purple. So the pigment for this, just so you know what it is, um, it is PB28, which I believe is um, a cobalt blue, and then PV19, which is some sort of violet or purple. So it's gonna be cobalt blue with purple. It's a pretty color. I'm going to water it down. It is beautiful. That's a really nice color. Okay. And then our next color is PV15. So again, that's a violet. I don't know exactly which violet it is. Um, and PBK11. I feel like that is, is that black? Okay, PBK11 is Mars black. So this is going to be like a purpley black color, which sounds kind of cool. These kind of like, just like the moodiness of the packaging seems like they're going to be very moody colors. I wonder if this is kind of like one of those, like a neutral tint. So it's kind of like a black, but it has like a, a purpley tint to it, which is really nice. Or like a mauve, not a mauve, but like a, I don't know. Very moody colors. I like this. Okay. Then next we have a green. So this is PB29, which I think is ultramarine and PY150, so some sort of yellow. So it's gonna be green, we have yellow and green. What kind of green you ask? I don't know. So I also know that ultramarine tends to be a very granulating color. So usually any kind of paint that is mixed with ultramarine, ooh, that's pretty. Um, any kind of green that's mixed with ultramarine tends to separate and granulate a little bit. So I'm curious to see if it's going to do that with this. That's really pretty though. Kind of reminds me of a hooker's green, but a little bit deeper. I really like that. Okay. And then we have another, I don't know what this is. This is PB29. So I think that's our, co did I say cobalt blue or ultramarine? I think it's ultramarine. PO48 which I think is an orange. Is that orange? So that, ooh, that's a quinacridone burnt orange. And then PY150 is a yellow. It's nickel azo yellow. Okay, so we have ultramarine, which like I said, granulates usually, separates a bit. We have a bit of orange and a yellow. So this I feel like is gonna be a bit more of a, what's it called, like a, Olive color, maybe? Yeah. Ooh. <gasps> okay. This is like my favorite type of green. 
like an olive, a beautiful olive green. Oh, look at that. Hands down my favorite color. That's gorgeous. It's such an interesting array of colors in this. Okay, and then next we have, looks like another, like maybe a pink or a purple. So we have PB29 again. I gotta memorize this. PB. Okay, so PB29 is ultramarine, and then PV19 is a violet, quinacridone violet. Okay, so this is going to be another like purpley pink, which is interesting because that first one was similar. What was the first one again? The first one was PB28. So this was a cobalt blue and this is ultramarine blue mixed both with the uh, quinacridone violet. So let's see what the difference is. So that's cobalt blue. This is ultramarine. Ooh, see how quite like different that is? That's gorgeous. Wow. So pretty. And yes, I am using them straight out of the tube. I feel like this one needs to be a better gradient. I'm losing it. Um, I am using them straight out of the tube, which I don't recommend beginners to do. Because uh, you tend to use or squeeze out more than you need. But... If you are going to do it, just use the tiniest amount if you're going to swatch. There's too much water on this one, so it's starting to separate and look weird. It's also the paper. The paper... I might have been using too much water because I'm also using a lot of water from this brush. Okay, and then we have one more color. Let's see what this one is. I can use a blue. Okay, so PB29 and PG... Seven. So PB29, we have our ultramarine blue, and then we have PG7, which I believe is green. I don't know how to say this. Phthalocyne <laughs> green. <laughs> I don't know. Um, no idea. But there's... Is this another green? Okay, so it's more like a turquoise color. Ooh, that's pretty. I kind of wish there was a bit more of like a blue in this because I feel like I got a lot of greens which I love I'm not complaining these two are definitely my favorite but just for a bit more of a range of color and there we go so those are the ones that come in the set I still have no idea what this is I'm kind of is it looks like an oil maybe I'm kind of scared <laughs> I don't know what it is I'll have to look that up and maybe ask them but yeah that is the set of the Shein Paul Rubens watercolors. Um, a lot of fun to play with. It's such a fun kind of set of colors that really I could see myself just adding to, you know, just maybe a regular palette, like these greens especially. They're just really, really beautiful. And let's just mix them. Do a little... I gotta do a little flower. Come on now. It's me. Um, and actually, as it's starting to dry, I am seeing a little bit of separation in some of the colors, like I was talking about, like with uh, ultramarine and stuff. You will get a little bit of granulation, a little bit of separation. So I'm wondering. I'm gonna swatch them on a different piece of paper and come back and let you know if it they're separating at all. Okay, so I did swatch them on a different paper and there is tons, like there is a lot of separation. This is actually kind of cool and I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, um, but this one, so the like magenta-y kind of purple, you can see that ultramarine in there. Like, look at that, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, does that mean quality or non-quality? Is that just because ultramarine is granulating and it separates a lot? I have no idea, but I think it's a really cool effect for this, um, so the violet and the ultramarine are definitely separating. I'm seeing it a little bit too in this kind of 
olivey green, I see little bits of ultramarine blue because it is such a, you know, granulating color. And this is pretty granulating as well. But either way, those are really cool. Um, I had a lot of fun swatching these and maybe I'll use them in a tutorial. So please let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you're interested in seeing me paint with these a bit more um, or if you know what this thing in the center is <laughs> or if you've used these paints yourself and you like them or you don't like them. Let me know and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something and I will see you guys next time for our next tutorial. Have a great day guys. Bye.